M0FXB, ICOM have announced a new IC7300 Mark II. Fantastic news because it's the best selling radio of all time and I love using it and I, you know, I'm very lucky I've got the 7610 here as well and I just love the interface, it just, just works. Uh, a, very, uh, a very popular question that is being asked repeatedly on social media and thereabouts is does the internal battery still drain? Now I've had several 7300s over the years and I've never had to change an internal battery. Now there are videos and uh, there's some, some good links I'll put one in changing that battery. So, you know, I, I think if you have one of the early models and, you know, after a while, all batteries eventually die. But my experience is that as long as you, as long as you, you know, turn the radio on every now and again, let the battery charge up. It's never been a problem, and I don't actually know anyone that has had this problem of the over 100,000 radios that have been sold. I'm sure, I mean, there are people that have, of course there are, but generally it's not really a problem. But do the ham radio repeaters like to repeat the gossip? Do they like to say to everyone, oh, you know, does the... Is have they sorted out the battery problem like it's a big problem? I don't feel it's ever been a big problem. And I, I've owned four different 7300 Mark 7300 Mark ones. Okay. Now, so the next question is, well, have they changed the 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 architecture of the hardware? Let's call it for the inter internal battery. And you'll see here that the old advice, and it's very clear, the IC7300, the first model, and remember, I'm nothing to do with ICOM. This is just me making a video. Speak to ICOM if you want clarification and confirmation. The IC7300 has a rechargeable lithium battery to back up the internal clock. If you connect the transceiver to a power source, the battery is charged and it keeps the clock setting. However, if you do not connect your transceiver to a power source for a long time, the battery will discharge in that case. Uh, the clock go, you know, loses its time. Um, if you do not use your transceiver for a long period, we recommend that you connect the transceiver to a power source. Of course, it's common sense. Uh, the charging period is two days, whether the transceiver is powered on or off. So, you know, it's, it needs to be charged. Now, one person I saw in an interview said the battery is larger than it used to be, but check with ICOM. But now what I have got is on the left hand side here, I've got the ICOM IC7300 Mark II basic manual. And if you look here, the instructions for setting the clock are, are you know, the same as before, exactly the same as before. But if you scroll down here, they have put this, this small message. It says, note, the backup battery for the internal clock, the 7300 Mark II, has a rechargeable lithium battery to back up the internal clock. If you connect the transceiver to a power source, the battery is charged and it keeps the correct clock setting. However, if you do not connect the transceiver to a power source for a long period of time, the battery will discharge. In that case, the transceiver resets the clock. If you do not use the transceiver for a long period of time, we recommend that you connect the transceiver to a power source for at least uh, one, at least once a month. The charging period is two days, whether the radio is on or off. So that's identical message. So I feel that if you've got a radio that gets very old to the point where the battery, the rechargeable battery has degraded beyond use, which is really unusual in my opinion, unless it's very old, um, there is a chance you are gonna have to go in and replace this, you know, the battery, but it's not, I've had a look and there's, there's quite a few videos of people changing that battery and it's not really that hard, really, it's basic. It's basic soldering and you can send it to your, your local ham radio shop like Martin Lynch and they'll do it for you and they'll check everything over and do it properly, charge you a fair price, but you'll have a warranty and it'll be, you know, it'll be proper. So I don't see a problem, but I, I feel, and please ICOM, you know, confirm that it, it's a similar case. If it's old and it's degraded and the battery has seen the end of its life, like any battery, even rechargeable batteries, it will need changing. Um, have they done a thing where you can just pop the lid off and clip it out? I don't think so. There are fuses in there, I notice. If you scroll down, I notice there's some uh, a section here on replacing fuses. Look, see that? You've got them in there. there. And if you scroll further down, there's resetting and check it out. Bye for now.